Okay, guys, I wanted to go over uh, Pinch 2, and uh, I wanted to go over a sixth setup. And the reason why I want to go over this one is because this is not... Um, I'm trying to think how to say this. This is another way that you can basically run all the concepts. Um, and honestly, it might be even better if you think about if you think about how the play itself works. But this is really a it's a specific blitz though that I like to use when they start to block their running back. Okay, so you know, take it for what it's worth. It's a different way to run the defense. Because you're going to use her the right side linebacker instead of the left side linebacker. So, um, here's your setup. Really simple. All we're going to do, we're already base aligned. So, we're going to press coverage. We're going to spread our linebackers. We're going to globally blitz all of our linebackers. We're going to crash our D-line to the middle. And then we're going to zone off our slot corner, our right of screen, outside linebacker, just like that. Um, and then we're going to take our nose tackle and put him in a bluff blitz. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. We don't need to hover. We don't need to do anything. Uh, I like to just run down into the left. And what you see here is we're going to scream. We're going to scream off the left edge every time. So um, it really does improve the consistency of that left side pressure, especially against bunch. Okay. So again, baseline press. Um, you're already baseline, so you should just need to press. Globally blitz your line or spread your linebackers. Globally blitz your linebackers. Crash your D-line down because you want this guy to go in that angle right there. And then lastly, um, just start zoning off whoever you want to on the right side. So you see here we can zone off literally everybody on the right side of the screen. So you're only blitzing three people. I like to put the nose tackle on a bluff blitz, um, but you can put him in a spy. And then at the snap of the ball, down and to the left. And as you see, you're going to scream off that left edge. Okay? Now, the number one reason why I like this, uh, this blitz is because of what it does to the following, um, the following pass protection concept. So again, I'm just going to run. I, put, I like to put my user on a blitz, and I'm just going to run down and to the left. And what you'll see here is that blocked running back, he does actually pick it up there, but he doesn't, he doesn't really – I would say it's really rare that he does – um, if you wanted to, I mean, you could leave your, your nose tackle on a blitz if you wanted to kind of make it just a little bit more consistent. Um, you could also move your user. I don't like to move my user cause I don't want them to know, like if I'm using either one of these guys. So you, you don't have to, you could just kind of move this guy just to the, just move him just a little bit to that side. That should be enough for the pressure. And then, like I said, if they block their running back, you're just going down and there you see it scream. That's that's what we're looking for. So let me show it to you again. And this is pretty, like I said, this is a very consistent in game. Um, press coverage, spread your linebackers, globally blitz your linebackers. You don't have to crash your line down because you're going to be zoning off everyone anyway. So you don't have to be crashing your line down. You don't have to do that. You just do this right here. And here's your setup. And if they block the running back, all you're going to do is run down and then just come out in coverage. And as you see, you scream against that that defense. The other reason I like this is because um, against max protect. So let's say they max protect. You might get this in. It doesn't always come in against max protect, but it does occasionally. So you just come down just like that, and then come out. And look at that. That's max protect gun bunch. You're screaming. You are screaming at them. Let me show you again. Press coverage. Spread your linebackers. Globally blitz your linebackers. Drop your nose tackle in a zone, and then drop everybody on the right side in coverage. Okay? Just like that. Max protect. They glitch out at that side, and look at you just scream at the quarterback. Super good blitz. Like, probably, honestly, my favorite defense to run if I know they're not going to run the ball. It's probably my favorite defense to run if I know that they're not going to run the ball. Because it's so good. It's so consistent. It's really simple. To, it really isn't hard to set up. You get great coverage out of this thing. And like I said, you don't have to alert. Like, you don't have to hover. You just literally are going into coverage. If you look at my, if you look, watch my user there. So you saw we come in again. Watch my user at the snap of the ball. I just literally go inside. Like, I turn my hips to the left. And I'm in coverage. Look at that. I move just a slightly little bit down. And look at this thing just scream. Three-man pressure. Obviously, my nose tackle is kind of caught up on this, 
but it, he will normally drop out. I need to pass commit to make sure he does that. So let me show you again. So again, just spread your linebackers. Um, I like to press coverage. Spread your linebackers and then drop everyone in coverage. Pass commit. I like to globally blitz my linebackers just to make it easy. And then look at this. Max protect and let it just run. Right there didn't come in completely clean. Part of this is because um, practice mode is a little, it, it's got a little bit of a weird glitch where if you keep running the same defense, they'll basically adjust to it. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, I mean, this is this is a great blitz. I mean, this is like a really good blitz. There it is. And as you see, it screams. I mean, just completely screams at your opponent. So let me go over the setup one more time. So we're going to, be, um, we're already baselined. So we're going to press coverage, spread our linebackers, globally blitz our linebackers, drop our nose tackle into a three wreck or bluff blitz, and then drop our defensive end into a hard flat and then drop our slot corner into whatever zone we want to put him in. I like to kind of, if you wanted to, you could pinch this in just a little bit. Um, you see how I can move him, and it's going to change the angle of the bluff blitz. That could be helpful for this. It's not necess, necess, It's not a necessity. Can't say that today. And then as you see there, we're going to come in. Let me show you one more time because I think I messed my blitz angles up. So again... There, set up. I mean, it's super fast set up. It really is. And if they max protect, and you're going to scream. Okay? It puts so much pressure on them, and you're only blitzing freaking three people. You're only blitzing three people, and you are screaming at them, man. You are screaming at them. So I love this blitz. Like I said, just bring this guy down and to the left and as you see i mean just let it go occasionally the running back will pick you up we have a blitz that we're going to go over in a minute that's even better against a blocked running back but this is a great start to it and we can do it from the pinch too